Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we talked about triangles, we talked about we have right triangles, we have obtuse triangles, and we have acute triangles. Correct? Right? So, um, well, or at least we'll have an angle with which is one going to have an obtuse. So an obtuse is going to obtain an obtuse angle. A right triangle is going to attain a right angle. And an acute. Why do you put the line there? What? Why do you put the line Just, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about why. Just not saying these measurements. And an acute angle is going to represent that we're going to have acute sides. OK? So ladies and gentlemen, Pythagorean theorem, we know we have A, B, and C, right? And we say as long as we have a right triangle, we know that uh, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. OK? Correct? So we know that if we have the sum of the square of the two sides, then we have a right triangle, right? If I take this and squ this squared plus this squared and it equals my hypotenuse squared, I have a right triangle, all right? However, if we take a squared plus b squared, and that is going to be less than c squared, then we're going to have an obtuse angle in the triangle, all right? And then, ladies and gentlemen, if we have a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, then it is going to be acute. Okay. So I might ask you to classify the triangle. We know we can solve problems when it's right triangles, right? Because here it has to be equal to. For it to be acute, it just has to be greater, right? Greater than your hypotenuse. Or for it to be obtuse, it just has to be less than your hypotenuse. And that's it. But it can be any number less. So we like to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve. However, I might ask you guys to classify. So you should know at least if it's greater or less than the, two, the sum of the squares of the two sides. Is that going to give you an acute or a, uh, um, is that going to give you an acute or a obtuse triangle? All right? And.